ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the Gaming Griffin. This is Tactical Tuesday, and we are playing Catan. So if you're into the board game scene at all, you may have heard of this game. It's actually kind of... It's a very popular game, and it's it's one of those ones that when you get past, you know, Monopoly or, or some of the, the ones that everybody knows, this is one of the very common ones that people kind of start you out at. So, this is the computer port of it, I guess? A anyway, I think I picked it up as a humble bundle a while ago, and it's... The graphics are rough, it takes a little bit to get used to the UI, but it's actually a pretty decent port of a board game. So, uh, yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna start at the, like, the most basic. So, alright, that's me, I'll be playing Red. I don't mind that picture, it's cool, alright. We're playing against Lewis and Sheen, Sheen? I don't know. So, this guy is expansion-oriented, but he's not super aggressive, and he's, eh, skilled. I guess that would change depending on the difficulty level. I'm leaving it at basic just for simplicity. Now this guy is very aggressive, but he's not very expansion oriented. So he'll like he he'll probably all right, we'll get into it and I'll explain it as we go. But yeah, I'm going to leave it easy. And just 10 victory points and we'll go that way. All right. So this is like the most basic island. Oh, and it looks like I get to place first. Okay. So it orders like who gets to choose which ones. And you'll notice there's a bunch of different resources on the board. So there's wood, there's clay, there's wheat, there's sheep, and there's stone. And all of these, you, you need different combinations of those to build various things. To start the game off, you get to... Uh, the person who goes first gets to place their first settlement, and they kind of get to pick. Because if you notice the numbers here, I'll try to scroll in. The, how this game works is you roll two dice, you add them, and whatever that number adds to is, you know, the, the, the number that hits, essentially. And if, if, like this, if you roll an 11, if somebody had a settlement on here, they would get a, a clay, because they have a settlement on that, on that block. It makes sense as you go. So, I get to place first, which is good and bad. It means I get to pick what I think is the best spot on the board, but then everyone else goes and I, pl I place my second settlement last because everybody gets two settlements to start. So it's good and it's bad. Early game, wood and clay are kind of king. You'll need sheep, you'll need wheat, you'll need stone. Wheat and stone. Wheat is a little bit start. Stone is very end game, but it's really, really important for your end game, depending on how you play. So I think, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna plop down right here. That gives me a good wood, it gives me a decent clay, and it gives me a stone and I get to place a road too. Now the road is going to be kind of irrelevant because they're going to take all the spots around but I'll I think I'll start trying to head this way. Let's roll up our sleeves again but all only right. after we've welcomed everyone. I'm not surprised it's kind of where I was. All oh, hail. Are you really here to defy me or did you just want to polish my armor? Now he gets to place two in a row because he picked last. He's Okay, oh, and when you place your second settlement, you get all, all of the resources around you. He went interesting. Most times... Oh, wow. These guys are playing kind of dirty. It's going to be interesting. Okay. And he's going that way. All right. So, oh, for the rule for placing settlements is you have to be at least two away. So you'll notice how this road can no longer, like, you can't put one there. But you can put one here. You have to be two away from the closest settlement in order to place a uh, place a, uh, place a settlement. And start of game is the only time you can place them without being connected to a road. Otherwise, you have to be connected to a road. And this this jerks the robber. We'll explain him when he comes up. But all right, so I need wheat and I need sheep. And these guys locked down. Like, like, you see how these guys went caddy corner? There's no way to actually get on this nine. They absolutely locked this down. So which means I pretty much have to hop on 
this wheat. And it gives me a three shape, which is, there's been worse. So I, th all right, I think I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna go here. Well, no, I'm gonna be mean. I'm gonna caddy corner this because it gets me on the better clay. And that's gonna be important later. So I'm gonna go here. And then I'm going to try and connect. Well, do I? Is there anywhere I could... I, I could go for settle. Too. I could try to get to that. But the, the Okay, this is a port. And port does regards to trading. We'll go into it a little bit more later. I think I'm going to go this way. And try to connect my roads. Because there's, there's a thing called longest road. And, and it gets you victory points. Which... Okay, he just rolled. Okay. Oh, so he went first, and now it's my turn. Okay. So y you'll notice he rolled, and I got a wood. Actually, actually, it's not terrible at all. All right. So everybody, like, I have two victory points. They're all sitting on two victory points right now. So those come from each settlement is worth two victory points. Longest road, once you have, I think it's four or five in a row, like, like they have to be connected then you can get Longest Road. And if you hold on to it, it's two victory points at the end of the game. And then there's cities which replace your settlement. So, like, if I had enough and I could replace this with a city right now, if one of these numbers hit, I would get two of that resource instead of just one. And they're worth two victory points. So, some pe so one of the, one of the, one of the ways to try to claim success or victory here is to build cities to victory. It works, and it's it's a way I, I do a lot, honestly. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop a road. And I think I'm gonna, I think, I hope I don't regret this, but I'm gonna go this way. And then nothing else I can do, so I'm gonna roll the dice. So he rolled a 10, so anybody's sitting on it, like, so like I'll get a wheat right here, yep. And so will he, and he'll get a sheep. Okay. And these first few rounds, you kind of just, everybody's rolling, trying to get resources. Oh, there's a stone for him. Not super helpful early game, but there's a wood for me. Very early helpful game. Okay, so he's trying to trade with me. He wants my sheep, and he'll give me a wood. I already have a wood and only one sheep, so I'm going to tell him no. He's back for more. He'll give me that stone. I'm still gonna tell him to pound sand. He was fishing, hoping I would give it to him. All right, there's an eight. Oh, that gets me a clay. Nice. I'm so glad I dropped it there then. That's very helpful. All right, I am gonna go ahead, build another road. And we'll call it done there. I'm hoping I can drop a settlement here, because that's the sheep are pretty useless, but the rest of it's good. I'm gonna be sh sheep starved, is my best guess. Um, no, you can't have my clay drop dead. What are you high? Six, seven, eight. All right. Oh, that's another clay for me. Nice. Wood for him. No, I'm not giving you my only sheep. Are you high? Uh, still not giving you my shape. You're tempting, but no. Okay, so what he just did is he traded to the bank. You could trade four to the bank for any resource. It's expensive and painful to do, but you can do it. Ah, there's the 11, so that's a play for me there. Nice. Alright, so I'm gonna trade. I'm gonna fish for a wood. And I'll offer up a clay. He'll do that one. It could bite me later, but I need it. That fits well in my castle. Yeah, yeah, you pretentious. I mean, thank you for your, your business. Valued customer. Cough. Alright, so that drops me there. So that, that'll hopefully help with my wood production. Which opens up a couple of different options for me, but we're going to see how the rolls go for this round. Alright, there's a five. Uh, he'll get 
Oh, I'll get a wood. Okay. I think... Uh, no. Okay, so he rolled a six. Oh, hey, there's stone. Nice. Come on. Alright. Yeah, whatever, dude. Alright, there's an eight. Oh, there's another clay for me. Nice. This one's been lucrative. There, there, sometimes the, the good numbers just don't seem to hit. It's, it's, it's stupid, but luck. Alright. Now this, this goes into, I, th okay, so I should explain ports. So I, I explained earlier that you can do four to one to the bank anytime, but that's really expensive. You don't want to do it. So you have these ports here. If you go on the question mark ports, you can trade three of anything for one resource, which is at least a better ratio. If you go to one of these, like, uh, one of these ports right here, you can trade two to one, which is a lot more doable. The question is, I think I want to go for this wood port, because I'm sitting on some decent numbers for the wood. And it's not good late game, but it's good for trading fodder late game. The trick of it is, he could potentially try to block me. Now, I don't think he's motivated to go for it, but if he sees me going for it, he might. So I think I'm not going to build the road I can build. I'm going to hope I get another wood. I got stone. I got stone for days! Now, I am at risk for robber. So he wants no. Heck no! No, I'm not giving you wood. Drop dead! Yeah, you can four to one that if you really want it. Now, where's he going is the question mark. Good. He's focused down here, which is painful for me in the long run, but it buys me a little time. So the problem is, I have eight cards. If you have eight or more cards, if the robber hits, he robs you, and you have to give up half your cards. So you're hoping for... Whew. You're hoping for no seven, essentially. All right. Okay. I'm gonna open up. I'm gonna see if... Oh, no, I'm not going to give that. I want one of these. I will give a clay. Nobody's biting there. Uh, if I offer two. Nope. Eh. Eh. Anybody for a stone? No. All right. So no bites there, which means I'm going to have to four to one this, which sucks so hard. But uh, it'll it'll have to do. Okay. So the nice thing is I'm gonna drop this right on down. Yes. Oh, were you thinking of expanding that way? I'm s sorry, not sorry. And that got me longest road, which is two victory points. So you know, sorry, not sorry. All right. So that takes some of the pressure off because he would have to go all the way around. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let it roll, see what I get this round, and go from then make my decision based on my resources here. Oh, hey, wood! And he just bought a development card. Development cards can be a lot of different things. They can be handy, they can be not. It, it kind of just depends. Oh, that's a sheep. Oh, and he played a knight card. A knight card is one of the development cards. It, it essentially, it lets you move the robber. So it can get the robber off you, or it can. Uh, if you get, th if you're the first one to get three knights, you have the largest army. So that can, that can, that gets you victory points right there. So I'm just gonna drop that settlement there because that'll get me the two to one wood, which may or may not pay off. But it does sit me on an eleven stone as well, which is not a terrible number to be on stone. So all right, I am. I'm gonna let it roll at this point. Alright, got a six. Oh, that's some stone for me. Nice. The problem is wheat. I need to start making my way towards that wheat right there. And uh, nope. Basically, he wants clay so he can do roads, and I'm, I'm real inclined to not let him do roads because it buys me time. Oh, he got robbed. Na 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 na. 
Yeah, sure, you can give away half your stuff. Oh, you yeah. jerk. At least you robbed him, but that locked down my stone. So that was not awesome of him to do. Alright. Oh my, oh me, oh my. The problem is I don't have enough for really anything at the moment. I don't think I want to trade. Well, I do have enough for a road. And I kind of think I want to put this one in just because it A, locks him in. So he might focus more down here while he still can. It might drive him towards this wheat, which would not be awesome. Oh, but I could head he- uh, I can't build right there. Yeah, this one's catty corner and so is this one. These wheats are totally locked down. This is the only available wheat that's still out there. I think I'm gonna not antagonize him and hope he doesn't go for anything. I think that's my best bet at the moment. Right, that hit me a clay, which hits me towards another road. And he didn't build anything, so... Because if you pressure them, sometimes they'll build just to try and block you. It, it, it's annoying, but it, it's an effective strategy, honestly. So I don't blame them for it. Alright. You want my sheep? Or, or no, you want my stone. And you'll give me a wood. I'm... He seems to be doing development cards. And that would probably let him get a development card. But I'm not going the development card route. He could be trying to build a city, but I don't think he is. And honestly, that would Many be thanks. So I'll go with it for now. Alright, hey, more clay for me. And stone. Don't get me wrong, the stone's handy too. Okay. So that opens up a couple of different options for me. Because now what I can do is I can go here and I can go here, which lowers my card count down, which is a good thing. Now I hmm I could buy a development card, but I don't think I'm going to because I, I want to get the settlement in. So I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna let it roll, and hope I don't regret it. Well, there's wheat at least, so that's good. You want? You'll give me stone. You want sheep? No, I have one sheep. Are you out of your mind? A two. Has two hit yet? Oh, we played a night card to get that off him. I'm not gonna complain, it gets it off me too, so. Alright. Ah, uh, nice. Just in time for that to hit. Okay. So, considering I have it and considering. Okay, so I think I told you guys about cities earlier. I'm gonna drop a city. Because I, I, A, I have too many resources, and I think the city would be really helpful to me. I think I'm gonna drop it on this one right here. That lowered my card count, which helps. And anytime any of those numbers hits, I get two now. So that should hopefully help me out a little bit. There's a wheat. Minimum, that's a development card. You want to give me stone, you want wheat. Nah, no. Yeah, so he played three knight cards, so he got the largest army. Which is two victory points for him. Oh, you tool. I loathe you with all of my heart. Alright, there's a clay for me. Uh, no, I'm not helping you. Screw yourself. Jerk. Alright, there's the two again. Yeah, nobody's sitting on that wheat. That's the second time it's hit. Alright. Huh. That complicates things. Alright. I want a wood. I will give a... Nope. 
Alright, nobody's going. Alright, we're just gonna have to keep rolling. It sucks, but that's the way it goes. There's an eight. Alright, there's another clay. A four. Dang it. Uh, uh no, I'm still not giving you my wheat. Scray yourself. All right, there's a nine. Oh, at least that's a wood. F that's what I needed. So, yay! All right, so I am gonna plop down an adorable little settlement right there, and I'm gonna call it that. Is it ten? Oh, I am sitting. Oh, a week ten. Nice. I forgot about that. Yeah, this guy's. This guy hits big on tens. It's not great. Yeah, sure. You have fun with that roach monkey. There's a nine. And there's the wood sitting. Okay, I gotta get this robber off of. Uh. Nope. He'll give me two wheat for a clay. You're desperate. Still no. Yeah, you can afford a one for that. I got no reason to help you. You're gonna be a problem. And you robbered me. So, screw yourself. A robber ends friendships. <laughs> Alright, there's some stone. That's nice. A couple of clay for me. Also nice. All right. I am going to lock in this road because it's two easy victory points. So it's going to be hard to take it off me. I've got nine. These guys are sitting on three consecutive. I'm not going to worry about the longest road too much anymore. So I think what I'm going to do... So, I mean, there's, there's not a ton of places to expect band to, frankly. Because we catty corner here. I mean, I could go to this wheat port, but honestly, the wheat port's useless. I'm not getting anywhere near enough wheat for it. I could I could go for here and try to get around this stone so when eleven hits I get good. Right now I'm just I'm just gonna wait and see what I get. A development card to get a knight to get that off would probably be my smart. Because, yeah, that just cost me three stones, so. Um. Nope. Alright. Come on, three. I need a sheepy or a twelve. My sheep suck. Um. Nope. Alright, oh, no rubber, no rubber. Whew! Okay, no rubber. Alright, uh, decent resource round. Oh, sheep are murdering me. Okay. I think. Does anybody see? Alright, let's, let's see. Nope. Alright. So I'm gonna unfortunately have to four to one it for a sheep. Which I can do and still have one left, so. Sucks, but, yeah, what are you gonna do? Because the clay fort's all the way down here, I'm not gonna make it there. And honestly, nah. Alright. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna gamble and hope I get a knight. Or I could just get a victory point. Okay. So you obtain an extra victory point with this card, which will remain invisible to the other players until the end of the game. Oh yeah, you don't play those. Okay. So they think I'm at 8, when I'm actually at 9, which is really good for me. Because they're, they're, they're probably not going to... They don't, they don't want to help me at all, but they think they have a little bit of time. Oh, hey! Nice. Screw yourself, but... At least it's off of the stone, which is kind of more valuable. All right. 
You will give me a stone for a wood. That's a little bit silly of you, and I'm going to let you Nobody else it. really wants it? Then I'll just give it to you. Yeah, all right. So there's a five. There's a stone over there. I need two wheat, essentially, or enough to trade for two wheat. Yeah, he's up to six victory points. You son of a... You're gonna trade me back the stone you stole? You suck. And I'm gonna let you do it. Thank you. Screw yourself. What? Oh. I'm done with you. Alright. Well, there's a wheat, at least. Okay. I doubt anybody's gonna be willing to, but let's see. You'll you're actually stupid enough to Okay. Okay, Spunky Pants. Better than nothing. I'll uh, yeah, yeah, it's better than nothing. Yeah, cough. Cough. Uh I'll drop it here. Last Doesn't matter. What did, uh -huh. I did I play foolishly? Or did you play me for a fool? Oh, I was no. in a good mood today, so I let you win for once. I hope you appreciate it. These guys are like the sorest losers ever. Anyway, so that's that's essentially how you play Catan. I know I was trying to explain it as you go. When you've played it, like, once or twice, it really makes a ton of sense. And if you get a chance to play it in the board game, the board game's also really, really cool. So, but anyway, that's it. I am the lo la Lord Lady? Lo lady. Yeah, I win. Ha! So that's it. This is the Gaming Griffin signing off.